obviously you've you've seen your father's life on screen several times one would imagine yes i have what's so special about this version of it i think it's because most importantly my father entrusted an unseen with the depiction of his life story on film. Anand Singh is also like a family friend. We've known him for many years, even before my father came back from prison. Um, it's also because they stuck as close as possible to, to the storyline and to what actually happened in my father's life. And they depicted other angles of his life that the world knows nothing about, like the traditional man, how he was produced by a traditional impoverished rural community to become who he is today and how the lessons he learned as a boy in the village shaped him as a man who was able to overcome his experiences in prison and his hardships as a freedom fighter. And obviously the film, it's called Mandela. It follows not just your father's life but your mother's and indeed your own. That must have been a r rather remarkable experience, seeing yourself on the screen. I think uh, what's, what's important about the depiction of my mum is the, the role that she played, a very significant role that she played as a freedom fighter and somebody who fought tirelessly to keep my father's name alive and to hoist the banner of the African National Congress high. And it coming from Africa, you know, in terms of like Afro-pessimism, this just proves that here we've got a filmmaker who's able to tell a story that actually tells, that celebrates the role that an African woman has played in the liberation of her people. Um, and, and seeing myself, well, we had, you know, had extensive consultations and meetings and so on with, with uh, Anand Singh and, and, and with some of the crew. Uh, but I never expected that. It came as a pleasant surprise because what I loved about him is that he didn't, he, he didn't take direction from us. We just said, you, you know, my father trusted you with the story, so you will know which direction to take. And the world adores your father. How does that mean? What does that mean to you? Um, it, it is like some kind of uh, personal comfort. Uh, that at least the world recognizes the sacrifices that he's made, that he wasn't able to father us for many years, that he would, when he was incarcerated, he suffered many losses whilst in prison, personal losses, but he still came out to be a man of peace and reconciliation. I'm glad that that is being documented and shared and that people continue to celebrate his life. Thank you very much. Thank you.